For many of us who will be traveling for the holidays, uh, long flights can be very tough on our kupuna. So it's very important to know how to make their journey easier and safer. We welcome back Erica Libriza. She's an occupational therapist at the Queen's Medical Center. Back to Wake Up Today. Good morning. Morning. Thanks Good for having me. Uh, what are some of the major concerns when it comes to older adults traveling during the holiday season? So really for anyone in Hawaii, you know, we're a very isolated landmass, so yeah. flight times are long. long. You know, unless you're doing an inter-island flight, you're looking at at least five to six hours on a plane. Um, and on top of that, you know, traveling can be stressful, overwhelming, very taxing, very very tiring um, for anyone, especially someone who might have a health condition or might be a little bit older. Um, a lot of times we get questions from patients about, or patients' families about, you know, will they be able to tolerate sitting upright for that right. long on the flight? Will they be able to tolerate that flight? On top of the actual flight, you know, you have to be there early, mm -hmm. you have to check in, go through security, there's a lot to it. Um, another question we get a lot too is, you know, once they get to their destination, will they be able to access the hotel? Mm -hmm. um, will they be able to, you know, get on and off the plane? That kind, Those kinds of concerns. So there are some of the concerns. So how do you prepare for a flight, especially for our seniors? So the biggest thing is to really just plan ahead and make sure that you've kind of thought some things out and have some foresight. Um, for some people, that might mean, you know, a direct flight, uh, direct flight versus having layovers. Mm -hmm. um, some people would prefer to just have to do it once and get it over with. Some people um, might want to have that break in between. Um, if you have any, like, serious concerns or you have any medical conditions that you have, um, you know, some concerns about flying with, um, definitely talk to your doctor, consult with your doctor about any potential risks you may be, you know, personally affected by. Um, and then definitely want to pack all the medications in your carry-on bag so it's accessible during the flight. The last point there that we see their decreased blood clots and you, you encourage folks to exercise yeah yeah so actually that now in most of the in-flight magazines they actually have a section where they you know encourage exercise and show you some different exercises on the flight on the flight yeah, yeah. Um, and really simple exercises you know ankle pumps so basically just moving your toes up and down um, if you can kind of marching in your seats so or bringing your knees close to your chest and back down and then if you're able to like get up and stretch take a walk go to the bathroom if, if you're able to if not definitely those seated exercises are very important good, good stuff there uh, one more question what can older travelers uh, do, families to do as well, to make sure they're safe and uh, enjoyable? So, you know, when you get to your destination, you know, it goes, ag uh, goes ag again with planning ahead. You know, right. you want to make sure that you think about um, if you're renting a car, making sure the car is appropriate, not too low, not too high, so, you know, grandma or grandpa can get in easily. Um, hotels have handicap accessible rooms, and sometimes they even have equipment that you can use in the, um, in the room, like a shower chair or a raised toilet seat. Um, rentals are usually available um, for people, like, you know, in different cities, so if you need a wheelchair while you're there, you can rent something like that. Um, while in the airport, you know, you can use a wheelchair to get, you know, to the, from the curb right to your gate. There's also um, aisle wheelchairs that will actually take you on the right. plane and, you know, make it very easy for you to get on and off. Um, so those types of things. And then I always encourage anyone flying, anyone, especially older adults, opt in for that travel and trip insurance mm -hmm. because if something happens and you cannot travel or something happens while you're away, it will give you some coverage. Yeah, it's worth it. Yes. It's I know that sometimes that $30, 40 mm -hmm. you know, seems like, oh, I don't want to pay right. for it right now, but it will Anything be worth it. Anything can happen. Yes. Good point. Yes. That, that's, that especially. Erica is all part of the inpatient rehabilitation department over at the Queens Medical Center. For more information, you can contact her at 691-4277 uh, to learn more about the types of services provided. You can also go to that website, uh, www.queensmedicalcenter.org, backslash rehabilitation services. <laughs> yeah. Good to see you. Thank you. Great Thank tips. You. Great <laughs> tips. Especially the insurance one, because again, you, it's true. People just kind of go, eh, yeah. it's worth it. It is worth it. It is worth it. Yes. All right.